how's it going fellas so um i wasn't exactly planning to do a video like this but i think as you can tell uh it's been taking a while to get new videos out so i thought i would you know just quickly come on and you know put a little something together to like help fill in the gaps between more major uploads uh we're looking at a subreddit today uh to be specific r slash are the straights okay and as you know i am not straight i'm bi and so i thought that i would look at it as a bi person to see are the straights okay let's get into it All right first post we've got what appears to be a man in like the armed forces being yelled at by a female commander and this lovely man commented Screw that noise. You want to get yelled at by a woman at God 30? Get married. <laughs> so I think this was put under the partner bad tag on Reddit. And like, yeah, it, it fits that. You shouldn't be miserable or constantly yelled at in a relationship if you truly love each other. Like, it's normal for there to be a squabble every now and then, but like, no healthy relationship is just is just one party constantly demeaning or yelling at the other. If your relationship is like that, maybe considering finding a new partner instead of staying in that miserable relationship. Five deadly terms used by a woman. Number one, fine. This is the word women use in an argument when she knows she is right and you need to shut up. Two, nothing, means something and you should be worried. Three, go ahead. This is a dare, not a permission. Four, whatever. It's a woman's way of saying screw you. Five, it's okay. She is thinking long and hard about how you will pay for your mistake. Right, so, um, I've used all of these terms on both men and women, uh, and I can say that this man is kind of off the mark when it comes to them. Uh, especially the fifth one, I've told my friends that it's okay, and I have not at all thought about revenge or any such way. Uh... Maybe the reason why so many women just respond with nothing or fine during an argument isn't because they're deadly terms, but because they feel like they can't win an argument and are, and are just throwing in the towel right there instead of standing up for themselves. You ever think that women saying fine to end an argument isn't to exert power over their men straights if i was a mormon fundamentalist i would want you as my sister wife Oof. so i'm not the most literate in mormonism not really all I really know is that it's a sect of Christianity that is more into polyamory than uh, other sects. Sects. Not sex. Uh, and that, like, it has a lot of the same problems as other sects of Christianity. Uh, the only other th real thing I know about Mormonism is that um, the writer of the Twilight book, Stephanie Meyer, is Mormon. I don't know if that's an accurate were to use or depiction but uh yeah I i'm not sure what's with this whole sister wife thing why would you call it a sister wife that feels kind of weird I, I don't know i don't know let's let's move on from this before i get anything else wrong wedding photographers are way too creative from a strictly for men social media account Okay, so not only is this trashy, you're obviously making, not even illusion, you're just like straight up have doing a whole haha he eats her out thing in a photograph, which like, yeah, that's trashy. 
But also, too, how is this, like, strictly for men? Like, <laughs> is is eating out a men-only thing now? Is is that what we're doing? I, I don't get it. Uh, this isn't creative. It's just kind of trashy. That, that's strictly for men thing at the very top. I don't get it. Best asshole husband ever. Best bitch wife ever. It's you and me against the world, baby. We fucking got this. <laughs> so this is a very eccentric bed cover. It kind of reminds me of like those memes where like it's a skeleton or the Grim Reaper and it's like some kind of weird phrase. Um, I'll, I'll put one on screen right now to like get what I'm saying. Um, first question, why is the woman riding a literal skeleton? Motorbike against in the background? Uh, I'm not sure if this is a the straights are okay thing because like it very much seems like these two don't hate each other. Considering how like tongue in cheek this is. It's it's still a super weird thing to put on a bed, but like we've all seen the memes about we fucking on the Minecraft bed tonight. I'll I'll, I'll give this a 1.5 in rating of are the straights okay or not. My pronouns are trad wife in the future, anti-feminist, sandwich maker. It's a, uh, it's it's a lot of internalized misogyny, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's it's it really is like internally misogynistic because, like, it's on some level this woman believing that she cannot be anything other than like a traditional wife, which is. You know, it's upsetting. Women should be allowed to be more than just traditional wives to controlling husbands. But, like, on the other hand, she seems like she doesn't want to change that, considering the whole anti-feminist thing. It, it really does seem like someone who, like, is stuck in a rut, and instead of, like, trying to change for the better, they're just staying in it. Which It's, it's, it's upsetting. Like, women should be allowed to be more than just traditional wives and sandwich makers. They should be allowed to have jobs and careers. Again, another example of the straights not being okay. She, her, and he, him are cringe as fuck. Honestly, dude, I can fucking see what you are. Why would you feel the need to further clarify that you're a fucking dude? For example, on Instagram, I can tell you're a fucking guy, John Smith. Goddamn, I don't know where this became a fucking thing, but I am absolutely not a fan. All right, so um, let me break it down easy style for you. Typically, putting the pronouns in the bio means two things. One, the person is trans and they are letting people know what their pronouns are so that they don't get misgendered. Or B, they are showing solidarity to the trans community by, you know, putting them in as, you know, a little sign of solidarity. Like, I understand your pain. It's not something that is the end of the world. In fact, everybody uses pronouns of some form. Uh, so I have no idea why you'd get so angry over seeing them on social media. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect your life. And the only reason I could see someone getting that angry is if they're, hom like, transphobic or queerphobic or something. Alright, so this was first asked in the Sims 4 community... Which means that it was like an ask about like how to do something in The Sims 4. And it was, easy ways to kill a husband? I cannot drown him. And then this lady comments, 
inject insulin under his town. That way the mark will never be found. Then drive the body two hours away from your house. That way you're outside of the geological profile. Then dig a hole 12 feet deep and put his body in it. Fill it halfway, then put a dead animal to cover it. That way, if they bring dogs, dogs, the dogs will just alert to a dead animal. If the cops just so happen to find a body, they'll run a talk screen to see drugs involved. Insulin won't show up on a normal talk screen, and if they assume the test was for insulin, then they'll assume it was undiagnosed diabetes. Oh, you meant a sim. Oops. That was way too specific. <laughs> Either that lady has been thinking about it for a very long time, or she actually did kill her husband and she just admitted to it on Facebook. Either way, like, gay, straight, like, anything, th that is not okay. Please, get help, ma'am. Right, we got some candles that are labeled... Mandled, the candle for men, which it's just pointlessly gendered. There's no reason to like gender a candle. It's a candle. If it smells nice, and have at it. But then this lovely man comments, Not sure how many straight men buy candles. I'd be looking at a gay target market and also targeting women buying gifts for men. Which like, it it's not that... Because, like, there's already a problem with, like, gendering something as simple as a candle. Like, kinds of candles, like, shouldn't be gender exclusive or... Like, if it's it's a candle, it doesn't need to, like, cater to a specific gender. So, already it's r slash pointlessly gendered. But then this man assumes that getting candles as a man makes you gay. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you just... Do you just fill your home with the smell of cooking beef and sports? Because, like, not everybody wants to, like, smell of beef, sweat, and machinery. Some people like smelling floral or natural things. It doesn't make you gay to want to use a candle. All right. This is from the r slash Catholic memes subreddit. And if you know anything about Catholic memes, then you know it's gonna be bad. Reject sin. Return to God's infinite glory. I support the LBGTQA community. And then you've just got a crowd of people angry. And then he explains, L, Lenten fasting, G, glorification of the Lord, B, butidids of, butidids, bu I have no idea what that says, butidids of Jesus, Q, queenship of Mary, T, transubstination, I, Isis Nazareth Rex Edurium, oh god, I am. I'm butchering all these words. A. Adora of the Eucharist. And the crowd turns happy. I don't think I need to explain why this is a horribly homophobic meme. Just homophobic, queerphobic. It's it's on Catholic memes subreddit. You know that like it's just going to be a circle jerk of the worst aspects of Catholicism. Let's let's move on from this one. It, we don't need to give it any more of our time. Right? Before I read this one, I just want to give it a little trigger warning. Sexual assault. This one is pretty bad. New York Post. Michigan candidate tells daughters to lie back and enjoy if rape is inevitable. I don't think I need to explain why this is revolting. Like, it goes way beyond, are the streets okay? This man should not be a candidate for anything other than a jail cell. This man should not have any sort of power if this is what he believes should happen with, like, victims of sexual assault. 
it's gross, it's disgusting, and it is not at all fitting for someone in a position of power. Despite what the Donald Trump legislation may have told you, some people who are, like, who don't have any quarrels or, like, let, or who wouldn't do anything about something as horrible as rape don't deserve to have a place in office. Oh, God. This man is just disgusting and, like, somebody get him out of, like, the candidate race. This man shouldn't have to be a- this man shouldn't be a candidate for anything. The irony is that some men use money to attract women, but hate gold diggers, and some women use their body to, to attract men, but hate being viewed as objects. Right. I love how we gotta use that little weasel word, some. It, it allows you to, like, get away from being corrected on something with a, without having to put a, any effort in. Alright, so let's talk about the first point. Some men use money to attract women, but hate gold diggers. If... I don't know what you're talking about when it comes to that. If you're talking about, like, wealthy people who, like, use their money to, like snag relationships then you're kind of wrong on that there are like plenty of famous rich men who will, who will use their status and money to like get partners to get partners so without having to be at all charismatic and yeah, if you're flaunting around that you'll treat someone nice and you have a lot of money, someone who ha who doesn't have a lot of money is going to gravitate towards that because like we live in a capitalist society that like puts monetary wealth above all things. And second of all, some women use their body to attract men but hate being viewed as objects. Th there's that weasel word again, some like, has, has this person never heard of sex workers? Because, like, there are people who, like, gladly use their body to attract men and not be upset about it. Because, on some part, they are getting paid for it. And there are some people who will gladly, you know, flaunt their body because they don't care what society all thinks. They're comfortable in their body. I think the only time we're, like, Someone who flaunts their body would be upset at being viewed as an object is if is if they're like being sexually harassed or degraded because for as much as people would love to flaunt their body and you know show that they love themselves, having men drool and you know and you know sexually view them as items is kind of a shitty thing to do. It's like it's like it's like seeing a content creator as nothing more than, like, something to get your kicks off. To get your rocks off on. It's kind of gross, and you shouldn't do that. So this is just all sorts of what... It's, it feels like it's just complaining. It feels like it's a nice guy writing this. It, it feels like it's something straight out of nice guys. Hmm, I don't use money to attract women, and I don't view them as objects. What am I not doing right? You're making posts like this is what you're not doing right, good sir. Male? Female? What the fuck is this? Uh, that's called an outlet, good sir. Again, more queer phobia? I, I just, I don't get it. I do not get it. <laughs> It, like, it isn't even, like, like an actual gender. It's just, like, a guy and multiple women. Like, this isn't, like, a gender comparison. This is more of a polyamory thing. But, like, we all know that, like, homophobes can't tell the difference between gay, straight, polyamorous, anything. Like, they don't know what polyamory is. They just lump it under the umbrella of sinful sexuality. And for our last one, we have somebody... 
making a absurd posts about how they hate modern cartoons because they're all pussy stuff. So I'm just gonna like interject all of his points with um, clips from Arcane to show that no, modern cartoons are not all Steven Universe. L let's get into it. Nowadays, I don't know who's making these cartoons, but their imagination and testosterone are both at an all-time low. I mean, what the fuck is Chata Behem? Show Ma Berhat? It's an epic, but no, nowadays some shitty liberal editors just keep screwing with everything. We grew up on the Best cartoons in the 80s and the 70s were also really good. But cartoons nowadays, nobody dies because death is not real. Everybody is friends. Villains have no good plot. There are queer characters in cartoons. Fair enough. Blood has no color in cartoons. Fight scenes are just stills with pow or bang. Please bring back controlled violence into cartoon. It's the only way we can help out kids not to turn into scared little bitches. Pardon my language. Okay, right, so as I hope you all saw, um, with the clips of Arcane, uh, cartoons are not all terrible little things. In fact, I would wager that they are much better than in the 70s because not only is there some very good animation, unlike what he says, but they also tackle subjects such as um, gender, sexuality, um, identity. It really does seem like a conservative getting angry that cartoons no longer cater to him. Which is general for just animation, social media, and especially animation, Twitter, and in general. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, please remember to like, to subscribe if and hit the bell if you want to, you know, see more content from me. Um, like the video because I've heard that like it boosts it in the algorithm. So if you want to like help more people see my content, then leave a like. Um, I've got, like, more stuff coming out. Uh, I'm, I'm making a video redesigning some Vivisaurs from Fossil Fighters Frontier. Uh, the video talking about my original story, Show Me How to Be a Human Being, is still happening. I just need to get it. I just really need to get, like, the reference images finished. And I am planning on doing one... Well, technically four, but, like, it's all part of one series. Video on Dice Org, like, just covering it in full. Like, covering all my bases on it. Uh, if you want to see me do other stuff, then check out my socials, like, my Twitch, my Tumblr, my DeviantArt, my Newgrounds, my Twitter, my AO3. Oh, and one last thing. I am going to finish that um, AU webcomic. Eventually, most likely after I get the dice video out of the way. Not even finished, just like 
get started working on it. So this is the soft mink signing out.